talking about the decay cycle as being one of the natural processes that we have to work with in nature if we're going to be sustainable. Uh, the dung beetle that has buried part of this manure pile and brought the dirt up through it, incidentally, I should there there be enough farmers and ranchers in your audience that'll say that old boy is a very poor manager, simply because this manure is very fibrous, and they're absolutely correct. I was holding cattle on this particular area to utilize some old grass, simply because we had to. We didn't have it to us with the, with the uh, drought. But can you see the life in that manure? You see the little grub worms working it? See them? Are you getting them right there, the little worms? This is a part of the normal natural decay cycle. It is what has to happen. Everything from the little fly larva right here to this little worm over here, whatever he is, to the dung beetle, later on the earthworm will come up under it. The pill bugs will begin to utilize it. They will convert this waste product back into nutrients. Nutrients for soil organisms and later on nutrients for higher plants which will in turn be converted into nutrients for animals. Life, death, decay. It's a never-ending cycle. And when you interrupt that cycle with something like the chemicals that sterilize this dung pat in order to keep horn flies from hatching in it, then we kill all of the life forms in that dung pat. We interrupt that cycle. Therefore, we waste these nutrients that are tied up in this manure. Instead of going back into the soil immediately to become food for microorganisms, later food for higher plants, later food for animals, it's a waste product. This is one of the things that we've lost touch with in modern agriculture. We have to work within nature's framework. We can push on nature occasionally. We can violate the rules occasionally, but sooner or later it catches up with us.